from birth to death to afterlife we are mysteriously connected through the cosmos our breath our heartbeat we are one in spirit because we are connected everything we think say or do affects all of humanity and ultimately our planet it's easy for us to pick up on the thoughts feelings and emotions of others laughter is contagious it affects us in a positive way negativity is also contagious but it affects us in a detrimental manner It's called empathy when we put ourselves into the situation of another person in order to feel for them. Some people are so empathic that they actually feel with or on behalf of another person. We call them empaths. These individuals are so sensitive to the energy of their environment they easily become overstimulated and are unable to be in public without taking on the burdens even those of strangers imagine how they feel when someone they love is ill or in distress when a tragic world event occurs empaths may feel the sorrow loss and despair of those in another country this feeling of hopelessness shakes them to the very core of their being this intuitive ability is life disrupting for some feeling too deeply causes depression fatigue and unexplainable mood swings we might consider this experience as a psychic transference esp or a sixth sense Empaths are loving, caring, kind people who want to help others. They are often found doing volunteer work and may serve others through emotionally demanding careers such as child caregivers, medical professionals, hospice workers, midwives, police and firemen, and volunteers. Between 15 and 20% of the population have an excess amount of sentient ability. They tend to become overloaded with the psychic energy of others to the point of compromising their own well-being. Yet most of them do not know they are empaths, much less what to do about it. If an empath does not understand what is happening, he may think he is suffering from some form of mental distress or disorder. thoughts feelings and beliefs are a subtle form of energy currently most medical doctors and counselors do not recognize empathy overload or know how to treat people who are suffering with this energy related condition many times empaths are unable to identify or separate their own energy from that of another person the good news is there's help for empaths in a new book titled whose stuff is this finding freedom from the thoughts feelings and energy of those around you the information in this book will lead you to a better understanding of our energetic connection and help you learn to manage the gift of empathy while developing trustworthy intuition with a chapter on the psychology of empathy by Dr. Karen Good this book teaches how to shield yourself from unwanted energy as you develop emotional intelligence offer compassion without paying a personal price set boundaries and detach from environmental stimuli including the energy of people and entities raise your vibration to a level that makes you invisible to lower vibrating energy Both intuition and empathy allow us to access mental and emotional information that has not been verbally communicated. Developing your intuition and empathic abilities is a journey of self-discovery that can awaken you to an entirely new understanding about life and what you currently believe about yourself. 
the more we embrace the fact that we are spiritually, mentally, and emotionally connected to one another, the more responsible we become in managing our personal energy and protecting our electromagnetic field.